Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the final week of arrivals before the Reset Net Week that begins for Beyond Light. So, <clears throat> I am Geister, your friendly neighborhood titan, and I'm going to here today to just, you know, talk to you about some things about being ready for next week. Now, <clears throat> before I get into the video, let's, uh, I just drop and say, if you do like this video, you know, please like it. Uh, if you want to see future content, please subscribe. Every little bit helps a small channel like mine. Now, to the purpose of today's video. So, one of the things you want to do is your Embro engrams. You want to try to farm uh, weapons as much as possible. Namely, what you should be going for, uh, which will really work well, is the Night Watch. Really good, especially if you have uh, explosive payload. Uh, a god roll with this would be, uh, the only exception would be having that be outlaw. <clears throat> but everything else would make it a perfect gar a god roll. So you want to get definitely farm those uh, out. You know, finish up your exotic quests. Like you see, I have finished up Tabitha. I finished up Divinity because those are going, you know, those things are going away. So you want to make sure that you have uh, as much as done as possible, and um, going going forward with that. Also, you know, to get a good experience boost when it comes to coming the next week is you know hoard those bounties, just hoard them. Now I know people have published and said, "Well, it won't make a difference on the raid," and you know, you know, the cap, but <clears throat> and you look at it to get those early experience levels will just help you up level up faster and that that's the reason you're doing it you know it's more for pve uh gameplay versus you know prepare for the raid because the raid's going to be tapped out at 1260 that, uh, that they published so it really doesn't matter but you know i don't play destiny just for Rating, I played for the full experience so make sure you know make yourself a little bit easier say hoard all your and your bounties because you can get that big boost on day one. Also, speaking about that, you know, also make sure that when you do this, you have one of these types of ghost shells that has <sighs> guiding light. It gives an extra 10% to your experience for every bounty you're turning in, and that will make a huge difference when it comes to uh, next week and leveling up really fast. Now, let's go a little bit further in detail with your embos. So, as you know, the recaster will be going away at the end of at the next reset, and then you're going to lose a perfect chance of getting. Uh, God rolls on some really powerful weapons and um, you know that's going to be really really uh, tough to get in the when they if they do are, are in the next season you know because just farming for them is going to be difficult getting the right rolls will be difficult so we come to this let's look at some of the embryos they have here okay well I don't care about that right now come over here you know, let's start with CQC focus. The Achilles small machine gun. It is an amazing mob clearance um, submachine gun. It's very stable, has a lot of power, so try to farm for that. And the Assassin. You know, the, these two weapons are amazing. Uh, a god roll for this would be, you know, to have um, spiked grenades, those, and auto-loading holster. Those would, that would be the perfect god roll on that. On this one, uh, another good one would be having a breathing box, acquisized rounds, and um, multi-clip would be a good god roll on that. Then we also have to come over here to lead focus, gnawing hunger. You know, 
I, enough can't be said about this. Everyone knows about it. But, you know, if you have a really bad roll, use these arm ropes, get a good roll. Same thing with the Night Watch. One of the best scout rifles I've had. I, I've used it in um, PvP. It, it, it does a lot, especially having that explosive payload makes a world of difference. You know, another two, Bad Omens, Losom. Those are excellent weapons. Uh, personally, um, I have gotten better rolls by getting awarded from actually doing Gambit. But if you're not a big Gambit fan and you don't like playing Gambit, definitely farm these weapons. So that's kind of a little um, recommendation, advice from your friendly neighborhood Titan on what to do to get prepared for next week next week also i am going to be starting a live stream on twitch for when i do certain key missions raids etc um it's going to be under geister and uh, geister 1819 on twitch if you find me uh so i'm planning to do a small small live stream uh today just to introduce me on the live stream side of things because everyone here on youtube knows uh, exactly who I am by now and in what they can expect from me. So until next week you know, and we get uh, see the Beyond Light coming out and we just start to discuss that, show them you like Guardian.